Hello Disney fans, my name is Haley and welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel. Today I'm going to be announcing the winner of the plush giveaway and sharing my birthday haul. But really quick, I did want to thank each and every one of you for all of your kindness and for all of your support. I greatly appreciate it. I made this channel over five years ago to help share and spread my love of Disney with others who also love Disney as well. I'm doing what I love and I'm doing what makes me happy. I have a huge passion for Disney and for collecting and this was my way to help share that with people and help others find what they love and do what makes them happy. And I did want to let you guys know here that the past couple months I have been getting bullied and harassed. I have had horrible emails and comments sent to me and I've had fake accounts made about me and if that is what you love to do and if that's what makes you happy, I'm sorry. I would just like to tell those people if harassing people makes you happy, please just find something else that makes you happy and do something that you really enjoy doing. So with that, I'm going to keep doing what I love and doing what makes me happy. I also wanted to throw out here three more updates. A couple days ago I posted my birthday trip to the Disney store. The day that I posted that was not my actual birthday. I know there was a little bit of confusion there. That was filmed a couple days before me posting it, so I hope that that clarifies things. In yesterday's run Disney video I showed that you could print out these raceable bibs up to a year after your event, but the funny thing is yesterday the Star Wars virtual half marathon that was earlier this year, they actually took down the racing bibs for that. So make sure to print them out as soon as you can because I'm not sure when they're going to go away. And I don't know why they took it down because the worker told us that they were still going to be there. So I apologize also for any confusion. I'm a little bit confused myself. Also, make sure to stay tuned to tomorrow's video. It is going to be a Target vlog and haul. And in that video, I will share a lot of new information about this new Alien Remix series that will be released on Shop at Disney. So if you are interested in that, make sure to check out tomorrow's video at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I also really wanted to thank everyone who bought some of the Disney Cupcake merchandise this month. I hope you guys all enjoy your popcorn bucket shirts and the other items that you ordered. I greatly appreciate it and as I mentioned I will be making a donation to Make-A-Wish from the purchases this month. So thank you. Lastly, I filmed this birthday haul video a couple days ago right after my birthday and one of the items that I forgot to share was this Fitbit watch band which is this Mickey Mouse print. While I was filming the video, it was on my wrist the entire time, but since I was like talking about all the other merchandise, I forgot to show it, but this is an item I got for my birthday as well. Now for the winner of this plush and Disney cupcake bracelet giveaway. It looks like we have 119 comments. And then down over here, we have the start button to pick our winner. And it looks like the winner is... Becky Hernandez and she said I like your Pixar Cars movie collection. My favorite pops to collect are from my favorite movies and shows. My pop collection is at 76. So congratulations Becky. Your collection sounds amazing and I hope that this plush Mickey makes a good addition. Make sure to read all of the information down below in the description on how to claim your prize. If I do not hear from you one week at the posting of this video then a new winner will be chosen so make sure to stay tuned to my newest video for any updates about this giveaway. Congratulations and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Welcome to my 2020 birthday haul. I got a lot of really cool Disney items that I'm very excited to share with you guys. I also really wanted to thank you all so much for all of the birthday wishes both here and on Instagram. I really appreciate it and it really made my day. So thank you. First up starting with this lounge fly from Box Lunch. This one will be perfect for Animal Kingdom. It has all of the little bug type characters there on it. It is one of my favorite shades of green and has all the leaves and everything and I'm just so excited to use it. I love the little leaf zippers. 
is so so cute if you watched my most recent Walt Disney World vlogs from November of 2019 you saw that I was collecting the Haunted Mansion popcorn buckets and sipper but I was able to get all of them except for Gus so for my birthday here I got Gus this is from the Disneyland 50th anniversary he lights up and makes sounds with the other hitchhiking ghosts and this one was actually made to hold beignets over in Disneyland and at Walt Disney World it was meant to hold popcorn so I'm so glad that I finally finished the collection of the hitchhiking ghosts and this will make the perfect Halloween display. This next item is super cute and I'm very excited to use it at the Disney parks. This is a Disney pin trading lanyard and it has all of the little Disney foods all over it and the ID holder is ginormous <laughs> at the bottom. How like, it's so extra and I love it so much. It's a giant Disney donut. Now for some Disney bound. I got these Star Wars Millennium Falcon earrings. These are so cool. I am so excited to wear these to Galaxy's Edge. I love how they're so giant. I love them. These next earrings I'm actually wearing right now, these are from an Etsy shop called Creative Things For You, and they are these little Mickey Mouse silhouettes. I love these. They're great, subtle, they're cutesy, they're going to match so many things. Next up for Disney Bound, you guys may have noticed, I got a new jacket. This is the Disney Parks Skyliner Windbreaker jacket, or I guess it probably will work as a rain jacket as well. I love the colors, the red, the blue, the yellow. There's, It's so bright and like retro, like neon. I don't know. I just, I think it is amazing. I'm in love with it. I'm excited to wear it on the Skyliner, hopefully one day soon. Now let's get back to the Disney food. You guys know somehow on this channel I always end up talking about the Disney food. These earrings are from Dingle Hopper's Treasures on Etsy. And as you guys can see I got a couple different things from this Etsy shop. I actually wore these earrings on my birthday with a shirt here I'll show you in a moment. But I got these Disney food earrings. So I got the Mickey Mouse pretzels, the popcorn, the Dole Whip, the Premium Bar, and the Churros. I'm absolutely in love with them. Absolutely in love with them. I was mixing and matching them and they're gonna be perfect for the parks. So the shirt that I was wearing them with on my birthday is this Disney Foods little like Hawaiian type shirt. It's a little like crop top shirt that has a little tie on it and it has the premium bars and the Dole Whips. I love the colors of this and this is from Her Universe. I love this brand and they are on Shop Disney. This was available on Shop Disney for a while, then it disappeared for a little bit and then it came back on. I also saw pictures that people have found them at Disney Springs. So if you can't find this particular design, definitely just keep refreshing and checking to see if it does come back or it may still be available right now. So I'll have Shop Disney links down below. There were also some other prints as well. Next up I got one of the figural key rings for the Mandalorian. Here's just a quick look at the ones that are available. Although on my birthday I did get super excited and I decided to open it up and I got the child. This keychain is so cute. It is that like figural rubbery texture and design. Love the bright color. Love the little clip there on it. And he is like flat on the back, that way whenever he's laying up against your bag, he can always face the right direction. Next up I got some more Disney jewelry and clothes to match my child keychain. I got the child t-shirt. Look! <laughs> I love how it's just a box and he's just holding his little, little cup of little soup. This next little piece of jewelry is from Disney Pixar and that is this tiny little up house necklace. I love all the different little color beads inside. Now for some Disney pins. I was so excited about these. This happy birthday pin is from Disneyland Paris and it is a little stitch in a cupcake. And this last one is actually a Disney Parks throwback. This one you actually used to be able to get a gift card 
and it would come with a little free pin as you guys can see here at the bottom I love this pin it is a little Mickey Mouse balloon but it has a little icing and a little candle so it's like a little birthday cake balloon it looks so cool I didn't know that these existed but they were called gift of magic I really wish they still did this because this is awesome as I was beginning to pack everything up I almost forgot one thing I got a new cup of the day this is a Turvis branded cup and this is the new Mickey and Friends design this reminded me so much of Runaway Railway and I'm so excited to use it for my upcoming live streams now if you guys follow me on Instagram you saw that on my birthday I went to box lunch and the Disney store so I figured I would just add my little haul in here of the things that I bought on my birthday so first up from box lunch I had some of the lunch money to use so I got these little Lilo and Stitch rings I thought they would be super cute to layer with a bunch of different outfits there is little Ohana, little Stitch Head, a little Wave, a little Love, a little like seashell. I think they look they look so cute. They're nice and simple. And that was fourteen ninety to go with my new Lounge Fly and little Disney bags. I got this super cute wallet. I saw it a couple times at Box Lunch, and I just had to pick it up. I really love this print. It will match a lot. It looks super cute. It has the metal lounge fly plate there on the back. It has a cute little lift up section. We unzipper it with a little gold zipper. Inside it has a small little section for cards and then a little section for money there with the print inside. Very nice quality. I love lounge fly so much and they have a lot of different options and prints at box lunch. Also at box lunch I was super excited to find the one of the little like cable bites I don't think they really have a name that's just some of the different brands these ones are called cable clingers like little cord protectors that you put on the end of your phone charger so I got this little stitch one they also had Sully and Nemo and Spider-Man and all these different characters and I was super excited to see them here in the US because I've seen pictures of them over in Japan and in the UK but they haven't had Disney ones here yet and I'm surprised they actually don't sell them at the parks and things I just think they'd be like a great little souvenir to pick up the last item I got at box lunch if you guys watched my last box lunch haul video you saw that I got this little Paradise Falls little coin bank jar I love the items that come out of the film and that you can put on your displays on your shelves and this was new thought it was cute had to pick it up this was 1990 and it is a little succulent I love my little succulents it is the little boot from Wally -E. how cool is this just on a shelf in like a room it's like a subtle little hint to Pixar to Disney to whatever just looking cute little succulent little boot the boot itself is like ceramic so it is breakable and then the succulent is just a little plastic this whole video I'm literally just gonna keep saying it looks cute because <laughs> everything looks cute it really does so this next thing I got from the Disney store, I actually showed this in the video, but I figured I would show it again. This was $5.99 for the Disney mask. These are the ones you can also order on shopdisney.com and the ones that are also sold in the park. As you guys saw whenever I went, there weren't too many designs that I liked personally. I also saw they're coming out with some more new ones like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper. So I'm definitely going to pick those up at some point, but for now I picked up one of the child to match my new shirt and my keychain and everything I picked up the large size just to be sure that it fit because I'm going to do one of the ear savers on the back so it will fit no matter what at first looking at the back I thought this looked super small but it's very very stretchy so once I do the little paper clip or something and get it on I think it will work pretty good it looks it looks so funny so these ones are washable these ones are approved for the Disney parks and for the Disney stores I did see someone go into the Disney store with a neck gaiter on and they actually 
offered them a throwaway mask to be able to stay in the store, but otherwise they were asked to leave. So just know that if you're also going out to the Disney stores, you cannot use a neck gaiter. All of the same rules that are currently being used at the parks also apply at the Disney stores. The other items I showed in the Disney Store video, and I'll have that vlog linked down below if you guys would like to see my reaction to opening these blind bags and what other items they had available. I'm just going to show them really quick here. I got the little taxi cab from the Monsters Inc. attraction over at California Adventure. This one I was really looking forward to getting. I was really hoping to get, so I'm very glad I was able to pick this one up. And after going to the Disney store and picking up these two Wishables blind bags, I was actually able to complete this Monsters, Inc. collection. So I'm very excited about that. And here we have our little last one, which is little Mike. This one is super big. I was very surprised. I thought he would have been a little bit smaller to maybe fit inside of the little car. Also at the Disney store, just like I showed in the vlog, I got this Rebel t-shirt. I think this will be perfect for Galaxy's Edge. And lastly, if you watched my most recent live stream, I showed some of the new Disney Cupcake merchandise, like the new shirts and some of the stickers, but I also ordered this, with, which just came in the mail. As requested, a lot of you guys wanted to see the Disney Cupcake themed backpacks for the parks and everything, so I ordered here one of the drawstring bags to show you guys. And I am honestly very happy with it. I, I think... It turned out amazing. It has the double, really thick black straps, a nice layered top. It is also lined with a black lining inside, which is very, very nice. Keep your stuff nice and protected in there. And inside of that lining, there is also a little zipper to store like money or your phone in for the parks, more little valuable things. And then it scrunches up here has all the little icing dripping down, has the logo, little YouTube logo here at the bottom. It has the little cupcake wrapper, has little black ends with the little metal sections. Here on the back it actually says do what you love and do what makes you happy on it. So you could wear it either way. It's like nice and reversible. The material is all canvas. I'm, I don't know, I'm just super happy with it. It's a lot bigger than I thought, which I really love. And the last little items I got in the mail were some of the little cartoon design. I am in love with it. If you guys would like to check out any of the Disney Cupcake merchandise, it is linked below. Do not forget that that popcorn bucket design is only available until August 31st if you guys would like to pick that up for your park days. So that is my 2020 Disney birthday haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to check out my Instagram for more behind the scenes if you guys would like the little sneak peeks like I showed for some of these items. As always, remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!